guys welcome back to my channel okay so today I created this look um, I started with really peachy colors and then I ended up adding some blue to the look I am obsessed with how this looks I feel like it's a great look for the summer or just for the spring or whatever it's just so easy to create honestly if I can do it you can do it um, so yeah if you want to learn how I got this look then just keep watching I'm gonna start priming my face with the Photo Finish Water Primer by Smashbox. Foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. To contour my face, I am using the LA Girl Concealer in the color Beautiful Browns. Taking my Tarte Shape Concealer in the color medium, I'm going to be concealing under my eyes and also highlighting the high points of my face. Now using a beauty blender, we're going to blend everything out. Now that we have blended everything away, we are going to set the concealer and for that I'm going to be using my Hello Flawless by Benefit and I'm using the Beauty Sponge to apply it. And to set my cream contour, uh, I'm going to use the Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC in the color Medium Dark. Now we're going to do the eyebrows. Um, I'm not going to do much to them just because I don't really like a dark eyebrow at all. Especially because I have blonde hair, so I don't like going too dark on my eyebrows. But I am going to just uh, go in in the places that I have no hair. Okay, so I'm going to be using these two palettes today by Too Faced. Um, and to start, I'm going to start with the, the Stardust palette. And I'm using this color right here, right in the middle. This one right here. It's a beautiful peachy color. So I'm going to start that with the Murphy M441. And it's just a blending brush and I'm just going to apply this on the crease of my eye. With the same brush, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar color and I'm taking this beautiful peanut butter color right here to make the crease a little bit darker. So now I'm going back to this palette and I'm going to be using this color right here to really make that crease and the outer corner a lot darker. So 
so to make the glitter stick into the eyelid a little bit more and also to clean up the orange I am going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base it looks like this and it's just a nude color so it's literally going to look just like my eyelid but it's just going to clean it up and also make it a little bit sticky for the next product to go on easily Now using this Urban Decay Shadow Brush, I'm going to go in with the Vega color right here and I'm going to apply it all over the white area. I just apply the concealer. Now I'm just going to kind of like sweep this towards the orange just so it could kind of look a little bit blended because right now it kind of looks like I just did like a little blue spot in the inner corner so kind of blend it towards the orangey a little bit and I'm gonna go back with the orange color and kind of bring it in as well so it gives it more of a blended look I've been obsessing with um, peanut butter banana smoothies and the reason why it looks green is because I do add a lot of spinach in it because you can't really taste it but it's just so good for you uh, but I literally this is my second one today like I am obsessed okay so for this look I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a wing eyeliner or not but I feel like if I do do a wing liner it's gonna make the whole look look better just because it will have like that little bit cat eye look um so yeah i'm gonna go in and do a wing line and i'm gonna be using the nyc black eyeliner I'm going to be applying mascara and I'm using the telescopic L'Oreal mascara and I am in love, obsessed with this mascara. Okay, so I'm going to let the eyelashes dry a little bit and I'm going to apply the rest of my eyeshadow and the bottom lash and I am going to be doing pretty much the same thing that I did on the top but I'm going to do it in the bottom. One of my neighbors can see me. So now I'm going to apply mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm going to go back to the face and I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and my Morphe Brush E4. Now using the e.l.f. complexion brush and it's just a big fluffy brush I'm gonna brush off the concealer that I have under or not the concealer the powder that I have under my eyes now for highlighter I'm gonna be using the Carly by Bell palette um, I love this palette just because you can use it for your eyes but it also has a lot of highlighter sh shadows like Honestly, you can use pretty much all of them to highlight your face and it's they're just beautiful colors. So today I'm going to be using these two colors right here in the middle and I'm using the Real Techniques brush. I'm not sure what's the name of it, but it's just a really small brush like this.
And now for blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte, um, this little Tarte um, blush. I actually got this as a sample, not a sample, but you know when you spend a certain money and you get a certain points at Sephora, they let you choose a little gift from their little display. So I actually picked this one and I'm honestly so in love with this color. It's just so perfect for like any day any color eyeshadow they use so it's a pretty like a really pretty peach with a pink undertone it's just so beautiful for like i said everyday color so i'm gonna be using this one with my real technique blush brush i don't know why it's so hard to say those two together blush brush blush brush i guess it's not that bad all right so i'm gonna be applying that in the apples of my cheeks and also bringing it back towards my contour line and for lips today I'm gonna be using the NYX uh, lip liner pencil in the color London it's honestly one of my favorite colors you can apply this before any lip color if you're using red if you're using pink if you're using just any color you can apply this as a base to line up and um, draw your lips and then Anything else that you put on, it's just going to go nice and it's going to blend so easily. And for the lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in, in the color uh, London, the same as the lip liner. Honestly, this is my favorite, all-time all -time favorite lip color it just makes your lips look so natural but at the same time for some reason it makes them look so plump and so big does that make sense so I'm gonna be using this one and I'm just gonna apply it just like that wow. also another great thing about this is that it's only four dollars or five dollars like this so Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.